Welcome to Fun Fables with Alfred. Fun life skills for early learners with Alfred stories. Where turtles jump, hedgehogs hug, and robins try. With these high energy and exciting stories, we learn to share, to care, and to be fair with ourselves and others. Flowers make Billy's needs. How can Billy B fix the problem and become an important pollen picker? Welcome to Disney's Video Book. Hi, my name is Billy. Achoo! never become a pollen picker if I can't overcome my allergies. I sound like a choo-choo train. Maybe I should give up? Elder B gives Billy some advice. Well... You can give up, or you can get going and try harder. Huh? If it is what you really want, you have to work for it. Elder B asks, Do you like honey? Billy answers, Yes, every bee likes to eat honey. Elder B continues, well, honey is made from pollen. We pollen pickers have a very important job. The hive would not have enough food if it wasn't for us. Oh, how can I stop sneezing so I can become a pollen picker? Maybe I should give nose plugs a try. The plugs don't work! Billy sees the beekeeper getting honey from the hive. Billy gets an idea. He makes a mask. Billy can't wait to try it out. Billy flies to a flower. He breathes in. He doesn't sneeze! The mask works! Today is a big race to see who gets to become pollen pickers. There are lots of bees trying out for the pollen picker jobs. There are big bees, little bees, fat bees, and thin ones. The bees hurry from flower to flower to see who can gather the most pollen. And the winner is... Billy B! Billy likes picking pollen. Billy overcomes his allergies to be the best he can be. He gets lots of honey too. We can all be like Billy and overcome obstacles in our own lives. Fishy swims in the sea. Birdie flies in the sky. How can a fish and a bird become friends? Welcome to Fishy and Birdie Video Book, a fable of friends. My name is Fishy. I swim in the sea. I live in a reef. I'm Birdie. I fly in the sky above the reef. I live in a nest on a tree. I fly. I swim. Where the sea meets the sand. I see a fish below. I wave my wing. I see a bird above. I wave my fin. Fishy and Birdie ask each other, Do you, Do want, you to want to be friends? friends? 
<laughs> Who ever heard of anything so silly? What? A fish and a bird? Friends? Hmm. Hmm. A heckler says, Where will you play? In the sea or sky? Can a fish fly and a bird swim? Fishy asks, Do you want to come home for dinner? I would like to. But first, I will have to ask. Birdie's mom answers, Sure, you can go, but take this with you. Birdie asks, How can I do this? Fishy replies, Take a big breath. Just try to fly underwater and you will swim. Yummy! replies Birdie. Birdie said, This food is different from what I eat at home, but it tastes good. Can you come to my house tomorrow? Fishy answers, I would like to, but first I have to ask. Fishy's parents say, Sure, if we can find a way, they work together. Dinner is different, but very delicious, said Fishy. Birdie asks, What is it like to be a fish? What? <laughs> it is great fun. You get to play in shipwrecks, said Fishy. Birdie replies, Wow, I could like that. What is it like to be a bird? asks Fishy. Try, except when it rains or I go swimming. Flying to mountain tops is great fun. The view is amazing. Answers Birdie. Wow, I would like that too, said Fishy. Together, they swim in a shipwreck. They also fly to a mountain top. One day, Fishy sees a hunter aim at Birdie. Fishy splashes water at the hunter. Thanks! Later, Birdie sees a fisherman's net catch Fishy. Birdie dives into the water and makes a hole in the net. Thanks! They talk about their adventure. With a smile, Fishy swims fast and jumps out of the water. Fishy flaps, spins, and vertically flies. Fishy then glides back into the water. Well done, my friend. Now watch this. Birdie takes a big breath and flaps the wings. Birdie briefly swims like a fish around the shipwreck. Next, Birdie spurts to the sky. Well done! A fish can fly and the bird can swim because we are friends! Pointy quills make it hard to hug. How can Hari the Hedgehog hug? Welcome to Hedgehog's Hub Video Book! Hi, my name is Hari. I am a hedgehog. My quills look a little scary, but I am really friendly. Do you know that there are many ways to show love? One day, I am at a zoo. I see mommy bear hugging her cubs. I wonder and think to myself, why doesn't my mom hug me? After school, I rush right home to our hedge. I ask mom, why don't we hug? Don't you love me? Mom is surprised at my question. She answers, oh yes, my dear. I love you very much. But our quills make it hard for hedgehogs to hug. Dad reminds me, hedgehogs do sniff kiss to show we care. Then mom added, we give you food. We make a nice warm hedge home for you too. We show each other kindness. We speak nicely to each other. We do fun day trips together too. I 
think about this while I clean my room to help. Dad nods. All these are ways to show love. Mom asks if I still want a hug. I say, yes! It isn't easy, but in our house, hedgehogs hug. Dad asks, How do hedgehogs hug? He smiles and answers, Very carefully. <laughs> we all laugh. I think about what Mom and Dad said. I know they love me, but... I still wish my quills didn't make it hard to hug. One day, my friends and I are playing when Fox came and starts being mean to us. I stand up to bully Fox. I puff up my quills and yell, Hey, be nice! It works! Fox apologizes and runs away. I realized Hey, having quills is pretty cool, even if they do make it hard to hug. We hedgehogs still sniff kiss, and I also noticed that many animals have different ways to show their love. For example, polar bears slide and throw snowball together. Monkeys share bananas and play jokes on each other. Tigers tickle each other and play games together. From hugs to kindness, playfulness to help, there are many ways we can show that we care. Fire starts in the jungle. How can the animals fix the problem and save their homes? This is the story of Jungle Fire. Welcome to Free English. Free English. Learn easy English with stories. The sunny green jungle is full of light. Suddenly, lightning flashes. A tree crashes and a fire starts. The fire quickly grows. A parrot sees the fire and yells, Fire! Fire! A scared bunny yells, What should we do? We should flee, said the vulture as it flies away. Some of us cannot run away from the fire, said the snake. said Mama Bird on her nest. We should work together to put out the fire, said the wise tiger. The monkeys make baskets. Hippos fill the baskets with water. Water buffaloes pull the baskets closer to the fire. Elephants use their noses as hose to put out the fire. Oops! An elephant farts! The wind blows too. The fire gets bigger. We need more water, said the clever tiger. Together, they discuss a new plan. The beavers chop down bamboo. They poke holes in the center. The animals work as a team. They join the pipes together. Soon, water flows from the waterfall through the bamboo to the fire. Monkeys on the elephants aim the bamboo hoses at the fire. It takes a long time to fight the fire. Birds bring water to the thirsty firefighters. Finally, the fire is out. Hooray! shout the jungle animals. Our home is safe now. Together we fix the jungle fire. It takes our hard work to have harmony. Skills take practice. How can
can Mo, the monkey, learn how to do something new? Welcome to Monkey Star Video Book. Practice before play. Welcome to Free English. Free English. Learn easy English with stories. Mo walks on the stage. He slowly grabs the guitar. Mo tries to play. Like a rock star, he strums the strings. That sounds awful! Said the crowd. Can you really play the guitar? I don't know. Said Mo. I have not played before. The crowd yells, Boo! Mo feels discouraged. He walks off the stage. Teacher Tay talks with Mo. First, you must practice. Then, you will be able to play. Huh? I don't understand. Teacher asks, Do you really want to learn how to play the guitar? When? Yes, fill out this form. Be ready to study. Mo thinks about it. He decides he wants to learn to play. He and his parents sign the permission form. They go to the beach. Mo asks, What do waves have to do with learning to play the guitar? You will see, says Teacher Tay. They go into the wavy water. Tay holds Mo down under the water. Finally, Tay pulls Mo to the surface. Mo gasps for air. Teacher Tay tells Mo, When you want to learn as much as you wanted air, please call me. Practicing a new skill takes hard work. Are you really ready? Mo thinks about the lesson for a few days. He decides. Mo calls Tay. I am ready to work hard. Teacher begins the lessons. Start by learning the language of music, the lingo. The words of music are notes. Notes tell you how to hold your hands. You then pluck the pick to make different sounds. Teacher Tay replies. At first, practice playing songs that others write. Next is months and months of more practice. Mo practices and practices. Next, Tay helps Mo write his own music too. Today is showtime! Mo confidently goes on the stage. Mo grabs his guitar. Mo plays. The crowd claps loudly. They cheer. Wonderful! Excellent! Hooray! Mo smiles and thinks about what he has learned. It really takes hard work to play well. Words have meanings. How can Noki Bird talk with others who use different words? Welcome to New Words Same Meaning Video Book. Welcome to Free English. Free English. Learn easy English with stories. Green bird flies in the clear blue sky. Bird sees her home country. Suddenly, a big storm blows bird far, far away. Bird is not hurt. She sees that everything looks different. Bird flies down to ask directions. Bird asks a cow. Moo, moo, moo. That means, which way is my home? Ma, ma. Ma. Said the new country cow. Bird said, I 
can't understand you. Cows here don't speak the same words as cows where I come from. Next, Bird sees a yellow duck. Quack, 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 said Bird to the new duck. Dap, 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 said the happy but confused duck. Bird said, I can't understand you. This is not how ducks in my country talk. Bird sees a smiling frog. Bird flies fast to meet the new frog. Croak, 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 said the bird to the new frog. Oh, 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 said the friendly but confused frog. Bird asks, why do the new animals use different words than where I come from? Bird learns that other countries use different words, which have the same meaning. The animals work together to learn each other's words. Bird learns to talk with her new friends. The new animals teach Bird the way to fly home. Bird flies home. She thinks about what she learned. Different languages teach us new ways to understand more about others and ourselves. May we learn each other's words. See where we are the same. Understand our differences. Birds at birth cannot fly. How can Robin overcome the fear to fly? Welcome to Robin Tries Video Book. Wings of Courage. Hi, my name is Robin. I live on a tree in a nest. I cannot fly. I want to. I am afraid. I fear that I will fail. Should I even try to fly? My friends show me how they fly. It is important to flap to fly. Also, need to learn how to land. I decide, yes, I should try to fly. I study how to fly. With my family and friends. Next, I practice short glides. Think about flying. I am ready to try. I jump from the nest. I flop and flop so fast. Suddenly, I can fly. Hooray! Oh me, oh my, I can fly. I can fly all across the sky. The world looks different from up here. I fly to places that I could not go to before I learned to fly. I feel different too, now that I can fly. I believe in myself more. Other people have feelings too. How can three different people learn how each other feels? How do we better understand each other? Welcome to Shoe Walks. How do we understand each other better? 
Why are the people angry? It is the after work rush hour traffic jam. Funky Fairy wants to help. Funky Fairy has an idea to help people get along with each other. That night, Funky Fairy uses her magic. She mixes up the shoes of the baker, the teacher, and the mechanic. The next morning, the three people get ready for work. They suddenly notice, Hey, these are not my shoes. The magic shoes explain what will happen today. Huh? The baker will be a teacher. The teacher will be a mechanic. The mechanic will be a baker. The people say they don't know how to do the other jobs, but the shoes say they will help. All day long, the baker works as a teacher. The baker teaches, grades papers, and prepares for tomorrow's class. At the end of the day, the baker teacher is tired. At the same time, all day long, the teacher works as a mechanic. The teacher checks out problems, orders parts, and fixes parts. At the end of the day, the teacher mechanic is tired. Also at the same time, the mechanic works as a baker. The mechanic mixes, bakes, and sells the breads and assorted sweets. At the end of the day, the mechanic baker is tired. All three people are tired after a hard day's work. As they go to get into their cars, Funky Fairy waves her magic wand. The shoes return to their rightful owners. Again, it is the after work rush hour traffic jam. Now, the three understanding people are friendly towards each other. Funky Fairy smiles. To understand others, walk in their shoes for a day. The sun shines above the clouds. How can Terry? See a gray, rainy day and have hope for more sunshine. Welcome to Suns Above the Clouds video book. A sunny point of view. It's raining. That's too bad. I want to go outside and play but I can't. Huh. It is wet out there. So I am in here. Mom said, don't mope. Have hope. The sun will shine again. Dad asks, Where is the sun when it rains? I had not thought about that before. I say, I don't know. I look out the window, but I do not see the sun. Dad asks, Has the sun moved? I think about it, and I say, I don't think so. Dad said, It is like this. Clouds come between the earth and the sun like this pillow and this ball. The sun, like this light, has not moved. The sun is still up above us. Soon, the clouds will leave and the sun will shine again. Let's enjoy our time indoors. Let's play a game together. Later, I look outside. The rain has stopped. The puddles are drying up. Hooray! The sun is shining through the clouds. There is a colorful rainbow. I see red, orange, yellow, and green, and blue, and more. Dad said, Please never look straight at the sun. It is so bright it can hurt your eyes. The next time when it rains, I smile because I know a secret. The sun is still up there above the clouds. I know the sun will shine again. 
the clouds won't stay forever. Soon, they will move away and it will be another sunny day. How can TJ, the turtle, jump? Don't give up. Do keep trying. This is the story of Turtle Jumps. Hi, my name is TJ. I am a turtle. Sometimes I am happy, sometimes sad. Mom and Dad say I should be glad that I am a turtle. At school, I am often last. At recess, I am the last one picked to play. In gym, everyone gets to jump. I try, but I can't. I ask Dad, why can't I jump? Dad said, well, turtles can't jump. Mom said, but you do have many talents. Go find them. I think and think about jumping. I get a good idea. My friends and I build TJ1. Turtle Jumper 1 We try it. Sadly, it fails. We redo it. We make the STJ2, the Super Turtle Jumper 2. We try again. It works. I am the first turtle to ever jump. I think I will be the first turtle to jump in outer space. First, I have to finish my homework. Why do plants make food that they just give away? Welcome to Plants Give Video Book. We are plants. We have scents but we can't smell them. We have pretty colors but we can't see them. We make food that we can't eat. Why do we do this? Well, first, let me explain a bit about plants. Plants have leaves, stems, and roots. Leaves catch sunshine. The sun gives us plants power. This is like how toys need batteries. Roots drink water and vitamins. Stems are like straws. They move the water and vitamins to the part of the plants that make leaves and flowers. Many flowers like roses smell very nice. Lilacs smell so nice. Their scent is used by people to make perfume. Sometimes, the earth can be a stinky place. We plants just want to help make the air smell better. Insects also use our scents to find us plants. The earth will be boring if everything is the same color. We plants make colorful flowers. We give them to people. People give them to each other too. Color also helps insects find us plants. Flowers are also good for bees. Bees get pollen from flowers. Bees use it to make honey. The bees help us plants too. Bees pollinate us plants. Pollinate means to help the plant get ready to make fruit. Some flowers have sweet nectar. Flower nectar is a food 
to some insects and birds. While drinking nectar, they help pollinate us plants too. Flowers come in a rainbow of colors. After the flower is pollinated, the color fades. Next, fruit begins to grow. We plants, powered by sunlight, change water and minerals into fruit. It takes months for the fruit to grow. One day, the fruit is ripe and ready to be picked. We freely give our fruit to those who are hungry. Plants also make veggies. Veggie plants work similar to fruit plants. Both fruit and veggie plants make seeds. What do seeds do? Inside the seed is a secret code called DNA. DNA helps the seed grow into a new plant. When animals or people eat our fruit, they scatter our seeds too. This helps us plants grow in more places. Now, to close on plants, we have fragrant scents and pretty flowers, tasty fruits and veggies. We make that which we can't use ourselves. We give it all away so that the world will be a better place to live. We help the world smell nicer and share colors too. We help those who are hungry become full. Even though people don't have fragrances, flowers, or fruits, people give back by helping others. To recap, here is what we have learned in this video. Read these bedtime stories before sleep to help build life skills and self-thinking minds. Read words to open windows to the wonders of life. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 4 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded. Subscribe now!